Okay, I got SketchUp here. Uh, I'm not going to do too, anything too excited. Just thought I'd make a concrete uh, steel stirrup. So, get rid of this young lady here first. Let's say it's, um, I don't know, 17 inches high. And, I don't know, 14 inches wide. So what I can do is I can get rid of the face, I can select everything, and I have a tool called a fillet tool, and you can look it up and get a plug-in to do fillets. I'm going to say a radius of um, one inch. And there's my stirrup so far, but I made a mistake, so let's go back, undo, create, fillet. I need to do something here, so I'm going to make it uh, a number four stirrup, which is a half inch thick. So I'll make this 0.5, and we'll make, explain this in a second. So what I'm doing, um, if it would just let go of that. I have to bend the stirrup so that, um, let's put a little six inch leg on it. I have to bend it so that the stirrup wraps around. So I have to offset it. So there's my offset stirrup. Now I can go back and I can put on a little leg on this side. Let's go over here, six inches. Okay, so there's the inside of my stirrup, right? It's offset a little bit. I can select it, I can go to my fillet, go with a one inch radius, now I can select it again, yeah. got to go to the select button or it doesn't work, select it again, and I got a plugin called weld and it just locks all the pieces together, if you don't weld it you can see what, you got individual pieces, so let's weld it together and make it one piece, no I don't want to close the curve, no fine faces, now it's one piece. And I have another plugin that I just use. It's called Convert Arc Circles Curves to Cylinders. And I want to make it a number four bar, which is a half inch in diameter. So I'll make a diameter half inch. 36 tubes was created. So there's my stirrup. It's wrapped around. I can colorize it. Let's just select it all. And what color should I make it? Well, I have a color off screen. You can't see it. It's just here. Let's make it green because that's epoxy coated. All right. So this is a stirrup. All right. Of course, it doesn't have the texture on it that a regular rebar stirrup has, but it's a little tough to make in SketchUp, but I could do it, but it takes a little time, and it's so small you can't see it anyways. You could add a texture face to it. So for my design class, my concrete design class, I no, I don't want to save that. I just made up a little section, and it was a column, a column, and a column, and a beam in the middle. Put some ties on it, and you can sort of see it. I'll zoom in here. You can see the ties that are going for the columns, and they're not spaced at anything. I just sort of made it up by eye. It's got some four number nine bars for longitudinal bars. And I made some, some stirrups and some longitudinal bars that for um, positive bending, and I've cut them off. The thing I found, though, that is interesting, like if you do a section view of it, um, where is my section view? Tool, section, section plane, there you go. Right? If you look at it, eh, zoom out, come on. This is really well rehearsed. 
I had the bars originally in the corners of the stirrups and you can see you can't space perfectly because there's a bend in the stirrups. You can't bend stirrups straight. But what happened was when I did that, if I go to the beam, I couldn't fit the beam steel inside my column steel. So I had to move them inside. And once I moved them inside, all these bars that I was going to use for cutting off, I put six number eight bars in there so that I could cut off two at a time. Well, what happened then was I don't have enough clearance between them. I'm just sort of playing around too much. But anyways, that's what you can do with SketchUp. You can do some stirrups and some ties. You can show people that it won't fit in there because the longitudinal bar has to fit inside your uh, column longitudinal bars. You can show people how cutoffs are going to occur. So here's I cut off two number two or two number eights because I don't need them anymore. I cut off two number eights and then I can I have to take these certain distance past the inflection point. And uh, I don't know if it's even worth cutting off any of these. Obviously, I just carry them all to the end. And probably in my line of work, I would just keep the steel going all the way across. I wouldn't cut it at all. And in this outside column, I'd probably need some hooks. And you're going to have to start figuring out how to put hooks in there. Wow, this zooms around. You're going to have to figure out how to put hooks in there with all these other ties and longitudinal bars coming in and stirrups. Stirrups for sheer and kind of looks like that. Well, I don't know how super exciting this was, but that's how you do a stirrup in SketchUp.